my channel my name is Doi where we discuss all things British Nigerian music and creativity if that sounds something of interest to you then feel free to keep on watching and subscribe so today we're going to be discussing something which is a little bit interesting quite a peculiar experience that I experienced this year around April May times so I got contacted I think it was via a social media platform and it was in regards to a modeling uh, photo shoot so I was very optimistic and I was like oh this sounds like it would be nice the communication was quite up to par um little did I know that I was going to be scammed let's get into the story time Fill in your details, um, a little bit information about you. So that was all settled and it was quite a last minute thing. Filled the application around Thursday and then Saturday was when the shoot was to be held. Now this um, company, which I am going to be exposing their names. Number one we have is Be Unique. Number two we have is Boom Models. And there are a couple names, which I'm gonna insert here of those agencies too. Agencies. Now, so uh, once the application was completed online, I uh, proceeded to attending. So it took about an hour, just under an hour to get there. When I arrived um, at 11 a.m., that was the time scheduled for me. And uh, I was told to bring three different outfits to change into. So there was a girl that was uh, welcomed to me. She had a bit of weird energy, but I don't know if that's just the London vibe nowadays, where the energy is a bit like... Um... So yeah, went inside, went inside the waiting room. I realized there was other people there and the room was kind of like, like a box looking kind of type. It wasn't as spacious and it's a unit of blocks that have different um, businesses and everyone comes underneath that building, like a workspace office with different businesses that are under the umbrella of the company. The journey was swift despite the uh, duration of the journey. I proceeded to go inside. I uh, was met with two ladies, um, a black girl and an Asian girl on the uh, reception desk who just told me to fill in an application on my phone as well. And they also asked me to measure myself so to provide measurements of bust, head to toe, waist, hips and all that good stuff. Now I have done uh, shoots in the past, like commercial shoots, uh, beauty brands, makeup, you name it. I understand that process is normal, they want to get a, a sense of what they're working with and I'm on the petite side so uh, size 6, petite obviously in terms of my height as well, quite short, 5 foot 2. So um, yeah, filled out the form and I helped another girl that was there who was a bit stuck. Um, to do the measuring and everything. So we waited and then we were called. There was someone who was, was having their photo taken in their three outfits. The shoot itself didn't take much time at all. Like it was a very, very quick, swift shoot. So yeah, there was no issues, no qualms with that. I proceeded to change it to my three outfits and there was a mixed race girl. The only reason why I'm describing them is just to give people out there just a hint of um, their, the visual representation is, is not out of um, any um, disrespect. I don't currently have their name, so I'm just giving some reference. So there was a guy, I think there was a black guy that was seated behind the mixed race girl who was doing the photos and she seemed really nice and really friendly. Did my photos and then we were told that by this time it was probably around 12 or 1 o'clock, so imagine from 11, 12, 12.30. Uh, due to the waiting time and there was quite a few people coming in there were even some mothers with their children I did my photo shoot and then I was told to sit and wait on the couch and there were, by this time 12 o'clock 1 p.m there was a lot of people coming and I just want to mention like people were coming from outside of London like near and far so just imagine the level of effort that it takes to come to some of these model castings or model photo shoots um, and I just want to emphasize that I wasn't informed or notified or told anything about payment i was just told that it was a free photo shoot there wasn't any mention of pay if i'd known that i would have you know factored that in i did my photo shoot and then i was waiting so there was a lady who came with her daughter as i mentioned they did do um, child photography she explained to me that oh how long have i been waiting here for and i was like i've just been here for just over an hour how i was asked to bring three outfits she was like oh um so what do you think about that payment they made us do and i was like payment this is the part guys where we dive into the evidence just like any lawyer we need the evidence as you can see we are currently on the trust pilot and um i don't know what this review is showing it should be one star um but it's currently showing 2.9 we've got 25 percent five star and we've got 58 percent uh one star now i just want to emphasize that these are real people because in order to write a review on trust pilot you need to have a account so it's not just people who are just running around trying to um defame the company not at all so first up we have one star by Raphael. 
So this was dated the 13th of May and I have tried to put it in the order of most recent. Okay, so this is MK Villarino. Totally disappointed with the service. I can call this professional scammers. I signed up via Instagram and got contacted by Katie who God knows who that was. I tried to get in contact, the number was no longer working. I received emails to confirm for the modeling shoot and I also got contacted numerous times. If I fast forward down, um, it says, I've noticed that someone was paying for the package as they claimed to be, which costed a ridiculous amount, such as starting from 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. I started thinking, hmm, this is pretty weird because a legitimate agency will never ask for money. They make money by taking a percentage of what you make from your modeling jobs. So anyone who does work in the modeling industry, I've done a couple shoots uh, commercially, etc. But if there's anyone out there watching this video who is a professional model, please can you share your thoughts as well, just to confirm this is true. He goes on to say, I asked if there was a monthly payment as I was not ready to pay a full price like this. And she said no and offered me to get the 1000 one but I was still not impressed, so I rejected. He ended up declining, which is what I should have done. So he goes on to say, I then decided to terminate this after spending three hours of my life in this place. I can't lie, you do feel drained. And there is that sense of like hitting yourself thinking, why, why was I there? Why did I waste my time, my effort and my energy? But sometimes these people are, can be so alluring. They've done their homework, they've done their research and they are just completely heartless. Another uh, review we have here, I don't know where my head was when I agreed to pay these people some money. They make horrible pictures of you, then give you your number to other scammers to contact you. First photo shoot, which I can make better from my phone. Then they make you wait for a decision, which obviously is an acting performance. After that, a lady completely out of herself, visibly high on something, ask you if you are ready to pay huge amounts of money to keep their scamming business. Now, I just want to interject here. There was a weird energy. There was a black girl and an Asian girl who were quote unquote, the receptionist. And I definitely can affirm that there was a really weird energy and you can tell when evil is abound, especially as a Christian, you can feel a shift in the atmosphere. And I felt that a lot, especially from the Asian girl. Um, she seemed uncomfortable. I don't know how to explain it. She seemed weird, uncomfortable and almost like her spirit was not, <laughs> it was not, there wasn't like a sense of um, peace or something. She just felt um, irritable. She was always moving around. She was wearing a jumper. She took it off, put it back on. I don't know, maybe it's because fire was in the atmosphere. Now we've got Andrew or David. This was a review that was posted on the 1st of May, 2024. Scam, avoid at all costs. This so-called modeling agency is the biggest scam ever and I feel so stupid, I fell for that. Basically, after you reach their studio, you do the photo shoot, you fill an online form, they ask you for a fee. In my case, unfortunately, was £1,000. They promise you that you're going to get some paid jobs and recover your money in one week or so, but it will never happen. In my case, they were like, yeah, we've just spoken to an international company. They love you. They want you, blah, blah, blah. You have to pay for these photos. It has to be today. And just similar to what the other guy said, um, how he asked, oh, can I have some time, time to think about it? Can I have a chance to go away and think about this? Which was all declined and replied with a no. So next we've got, I think it's, Appy or Afia pattern, this company is a scam. They contacted me explaining that my son had been chosen for a modeling contract dependent on an interview. All I had to do was attend an appointment in their studio, which is currently being held at the Lock Studios, the workspace Lock Studios, which is a business center. It's an umbrella um, for different companies and it's based in E3. So there are different studios and Be Unique is currently being hosted in Studio 6. So they uh, went on to encourage her to pay 300 pounds, this parent, and um, basically, yeah, it's like you're paying just for the photo shoot. Um, you're not paying for any modeling contract or whatever they, um, whatever lie they dwindle you with, it's not a contract. They're basically scamming you out of your money for a five minute, photo shoot and that's the that's the golden part the shoot does not last longer than five minutes 
five minutes, 300 pounds, 1,000 pounds for a five minute photo shoot. No wonder they're making so much money. Let's move on. Big scammers, they are real scammer. They asked me to pay 700 pounds and after possible to get a job, but it's all lies. Really be careful, it's a big scam. I'm very disappointed. This was in March, 19th of March. This company is a scam. They pretend to be a model agency and charge you a lot of money for nothing. They are scammers and need to be reported to the police. They only take a photo shoot of you, mislead you that you'll be the next model, but it's a 100% lie. I confirm this too. I remember the lady, I don't know if her name was Katie, was giving me this sense of like, oh, I really like you. You know, you would work great with certain brands, blah, blah, blah. You know, they play into that psychological factor, especially people who are on that high already of, oh, wow, I've been invited, I've been chosen. Especially when looks and all these things in the world that we live in is very subjective to, to think that you've been chosen. Who's not going to be like, oh, wow, I've been chosen. But it's all a lie. Scam, they will ask for money. They asked me for £600 for starting with companies. After the next day, they reduced it to £100. Waste of time and energy. Eight hours of waiting for nothing. Don't fall for them. Luckily, I spent around three hours. So eight hours, that is really, really painful. I'm going to move on to their sister company. Um, I think they're all connected. I don't know how, but as I've mentioned, there is Be Unique Studios, Boom Models, Fusion Management, Platinum Models. Um, please let me know if any of these are not under this umbrella or scam, but as far as I'm concerned, they all seem to have a link and I wouldn't trust any of them. I wouldn't fall for the trap. So for Boom Models, we have One Star. Um, the customer service was appalling. Sadly, almost after a year of signing my nine-year-old daughter, there's not even been one prospect for a job. I was 17, 18 years old when they promised me I would get a job. I had no idea what I was doing. I was doing it all on my own. They made me pay to sign up there to an agency. I never heard from them after that. This happened with three other agencies, 400 pounds in the bin, total scam. Somebody registered their 14 year old daughter on the 7th of February. They called me every day, giving me big hopes. As soon as they received the money, they stopped calling. It's a big scam, don't waste your money. Shauna, um, W, take your money. Don't waste your money or time with this wasteful company. Promised me a load of jobs, took my money for the subscription. Now I'm being ignored when contacted them. Very unprofessional and rude. Now I just want to interject. I think the reason why I was able to get favored is number one, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God. And there's no way that God is not going to avenge me because God is God. And every knee, every power of darkness, every principality, every power, they all bow and fall to the name of Jesus. And number two, I happen to know this person mutually. Um, and that was the sad part. They weren't like a stranger who had not known before. That's what made it even worse. But I thank God I was able to get my money back. But I just want to read some of this just as evidence so you can get a good idea. Okay, so next we have scammers, not agencies. Signed with my baby. More like a scam if I'm honest. I was told that my baby would have work of Sheen, Matalan and Gap. It's so sad, like vulnerable people. She explained to them that she's a single mum and was about to lose her home because her landlord wanted his property back and money wasn't good. And they still promised, they still promised that me and my baby would get work if I paid my subscription. I think that is a really low blow because she's explained her situation. And that's the thing with these scammers. If you read online, there's many stories of different um, scammers in call centers and so forth. They don't have a heart. Literally, they don't have a heart. They're just so cold. It's like they've just been trained to be very cutthroat, no emotions, no empathy, like at all. Another one, 24th of May, don't bother, don't waste your money. Um, what else have we got? Promise me a shoot with Levi and Sainsbury's. I want to get to the ones where I mentioned the amount of money that they wasted. Scam avoid. I wish I'd seen the reviews. Platinum models. Careful with their positive reviews. They're probably false. This is a fake agency. Look at all their reviews carefully. Someone, for example, has done three Trustpilot reviews all in the beginning of May, all for modeling agencies. I went to a casting shoot, also fake. Then a lady called me the next day and sold us the world of possibilities, paid my fee, Never heard from them again, apart from the obligatory casting emails. Real model agencies do not and cannot charge a fee for modeling work. 
please, please, please do not fall for it like I did. I feel so stupid. Absolutely disgusting. This is from Priscilla Chummy. Please listen to the reviews. I brushed them over my head and now I regret it. They were fast replying at first and really sold the dream in a realistic way. They're only good at being scammers. I even told them I'm a student and don't have money to be scammed. And I even mentioned my worries about the bad reviews, but they still scam me anyways. That's quite sad as well. So we could go on and on because there's a lot of receipts on this website. This is all true. It's not a lie. Be Unique Studios. Now let's get some information. This is the Be Unique Studio Limited. This is on the uk.gov website, which um, has the information for the company. So the company number is 145-630-08 and it's currently registered at 7175 Shelton Street, Covent Garden, London, United Kingdom. It was incorporated on 30th of December 2022 and it is currently a private limited company. So as we can see, the nature of business is cultural education and performing arts. So I don't know if anyone who has this experience can attest to that. I'm not sure what they mean by that. So here you can see the filing information. You can see the people who are connected to the company, who it's registered to. So here we've got model scouts. It's put down as model scout. These are all the receipts, guys, of all the victims. And it is really, really sad that this has happened to people. And that is the purpose of this video, to put the word out there, to do your research, always be mindful, use discernment. And luckily, I was able to get my money back. And that is due to the grace of God. That is due to knowing my rights and doing my homework. Um, but yeah, don't fall victim like I did or pay almost a thousand pounds. Do your research and please share in the comments if you have had any experience similar to this let's unite um two is greater than one let's unite and let's share our experiences if you've ever been scammed please um list the information put all the description in the comments and let's get a conversation going